friends, welcome back to the channel. I am Cher and it is a busy week of unboxings this week. So I have yet another unboxing for you guys. Today we are going to be covering Scentbird. So I got another order of my Scentbird subscription. We will talk about the subscription. This is only my second time that I've brought it to you. I'll tell you kind of what happened in between. Um, but today's fragrance that I got in was the Burberry Brit Sheer. So we're going to talk about it. I'm going to kind of give you my thoughts on this fragrance, do a little review on it, and we'll also talk about the Scentbird subscription. So if that interests you, stick around and we will hop right on in. All right, guys. So I didn't really give you a lot of mystery there, did I? Um, so Scentbird, I just brought you guys my very first Scentbird review and discussion a couple months ago, I think it was. So I was doing this thing where I was kind of rotating what beauty subscription service I was doing. And I used to do this thing where I had you guys vote and try to guess which one I went with for the month. I'm a big beauty box channel. If you guys are new here, for any of you who are not familiar here, we cover a lot of beauty boxes, both in PR and ones I've spent with my own money. I love to bring you guys the spoilers, the unboxings, a lot of the reviews and try-ons from the products inside. And I cover other things too, but beauty boxes are a huge thing here. Um, and so I kind of stopped playing this guessing game and only choosing one because I was finding I wanted more than one. <laughs> So now I just grab them. I just grab what I want. I've got several different beauty subscriptions. So Scentbird is one I'm probably just going to do every month, no matter what. It is one that is skippable, you know, like I can skip if I want to, but I really don't have a reason to skip because the way that Scentbird works is you customize it and you just pick out what you want for every month. And so you already know what perfume you're getting. You should be kind of happy to look forward to it. So it's not like it's a a bad box one month or, you know, it's a surprise and you're like, I don't want to spend the money for something I don't know. You know, you know what you're getting. So it's like, I don't have a lot of incentive to skip this service, you know. Now, I did actually get it last month, though. We'll talk about that in a minute. First, I need to go back and I probably just need to go ahead and tell you a little bit about Scentbird. If you're new to it, if you did not see my last video, we'll talk about what this uh, subscription is. So this is a monthly fragrance subscription. There's a few different fragrance subscriptions out there. The reason I did choose this one is because of the fact that you can skip if you want to. I like that flexibility and the ability to, if I want, even though I haven't skipped. <laughs> so um, what the way that it works, you have different like levels or tiers that you can shop. So you could either do like one fragrance a month or you could do two or three and you have a different price for each of them. And it's prorated or like discounted just a little bit like if you did more and you went with three th cents um then each perfume would be a little cheaper per perfume so i've just been kind of doing the base one which i believe is 16.95 and when you sign up that first one you can get a little coupon off and get it i think i got it for a big deal like maybe 10 bucks or something my first time but now it's like consistently 16.95 i think so you can add on to that and do the other tiers and do like two or three cents a month. Or sometimes if there are designer perfumes in there that just cost more or are more coveted, you might pay an extra like $5 or, you know, an extra little amount for the those coveted ones. Um, but there are certain base perfumes and fragrances, you know, to really choose from within that $16.95 parameter. So I just have been doing the base one. I pay $16.95 and I get one cent per month. This is the size that you would get, by the way. Um, they are, I forget what the measurement is on them. 20.27 fluid ounces, eight millimeters, I think is what this says. Yeah, so it's an eight millimeter one. They tell you how many sprays that translates to. I think it was enough to get you through like a month, maybe, if you only sprayed like once a day, if I remember that correctly. I don't go through it fast. And so... Between two months, you can see, of course, I have an extensive perfume collection now that these aren't the only ones I've been using, but I do favor them a lot. So I still haven't even hardly gone through them. So they do kind of last you. Um, and with the very first one, you will get the atomizer with it. And so this fits in like this. 
into the case. Um, after that, you will not get an atomizer. If you wanted to continue getting an atomizer, you would have to pay a little extra for this. I really have no need for it because I actually kind of like the look of it just by itself. So instead, what you get is you'll just get the little, a little case that it comes in and then you'll get your little case of perfume. So this is how it will look. And you have like a queue is what they call it. And so you can just go shop through the different types of perfumes out there. They do have kind of a little quiz you could take where they're like, okay, do you like this? Do you like that? Do you like citrus? Do you like, are you more on the fun and flirty and romantic side? Or are you more into, you know, gourmand? Or are you more into floral or, you know, what have you? And you take this little quiz that where they customize and they figure out, okay, you tend to like these types of scents. So you'll probably like some of these. And so they'll kind of showcase and show you the ones that they think you'll like based on your preferences. But you can of course shop all of the fragrances. You're not limited to just those. And then you go through and you just shop and research them a little bit. And then you assign which ones you want to your queue. And it's that easy. Like I've already got mine lined up through June or July. Um, like I already know what I'm going to get next month and month after that, you know, so you just go in and sign it. Now, if you don't assign what perfume you want, then they will just assign you the fragrance of the month. So they usually have like a featured fragrance. And so they'll just go ahead and put that in there if you haven't picked yours out. Now, one thing did happen with me though. I was a little confused just starting off and I got kind of mixed up and I had already picked out, I think when I first signed up, they gave me the feature of the month, which happened to be the Dime Seven Summers, which I loved. Oh my gosh, this was an amazing scent, by the way. But I think I had put it in my queue, checking it out too, and somehow that accidentally translated to the next month being my perfume in my queue. And I thought it was just for that first month, which happened to be the featured one too. So they ended up duplicating it. And so last month in April, I ended up getting my scent bird, but they gave me dime again. So I got two of these, which I'm thankful though, that at least I got two of one that I loved. So that's what happened last month. And that's why I didn't bring you guys a video on it because it was kind of a repeat. So I made sure to kind of check this time and I did end up selecting this month's, which is the Burberry Brit Shear. And they will bring, you know, your little card with it so that it gives you a little bit of information about it. So that's what we'll do now is we'll talk about it. And y'all forgive me if I mispronounce my perfumes and fragrance words and, you know, labels as well. Like I said, I'm still getting, I'm a beginner fragrance person here. Um, I'm getting there. I'm learning so much and I've been really enjoying this fragrance journey and it's been exciting. So I have gone ahead and sprayed a little bit today. I got this in the mail this morning and so I've been wearing it all day so that I could kind of see how it went throughout the day, kind of test out the wear and uh, how it feels as it lingers so that I could kind of give you guys that review too. But we'll talk about the notes in it first. So the Burberry Brit Shear, this is tropical yuzu fruit, mandarin and pineapple citrus. And they introduce a soft floral heart of rich peach blossom and bright peonies. White musk and amorous wood add creamy tangy accents to the delicate florals. So the notes in it of course are peony, yuzu, peach blossom, musk, and pineapple. And here is, I guess, what it would probably look like as the original bottle. So yes, you're not going to get the original big bottles or anything. Um, okay, so let's talk about what it smells like to me and how I'm liking it. So just so you guys know, I am what I favor. And, you know, we all kind of have our own preferences and perfumes and fragrances and all. I have never been a big perfume person. I was always more like the body sprays, Bath and Body Works, Victoria's Secret, those kind of things. I've always loved more of like fruity, floral, delicate, fem feminine, you know, I'm definitely not big on heavier perfumes. I'm not big on super woody. I'm not big on ultra leather. Uh, 
gourmand is so-so as long as it's like good and creamy and yummy. Um, so that just kind of gives you, you know, a feel for my tastes. I'm also not super ultra into the ones that are very powdery. Um, I like feminine, but not like really powdery feminine. So I'm, I'm just, I'm fruity floral. So fruits and florals is my family for me. Okay. So just giving you the background of what I like so that can kind of help you understand if I ever give like a bad review on something, it's because it's probably not in that family of mine. Um, so this one is definitely fruity all the way for me. And I definitely smell that peach, like peach, peach, peach is what I'm smelling. What's interesting to me in this scent is that it's, it almost doesn't even smell like a perfume to me. It, it's almost like I'm smelling like shampoo. Like I almost, that's what I would equate it to is like a peachy shampoo, which I actually love. That's my vibe. I am more into things and not even smelling as much like a perfume and more like the fruity part of it that you pick up on. But I do almost feel like you could get this scent in a shampoo. Yeah, I do. Um, so I almost don't feel like it smells expensive to me. Is that the right word? Um, I do feel like it very much has that shower gel smell to it. If that's the best way to describe it. Which is not bad to me. I like that. But I don't know how other people feel about it. Um... It's not really heavy though, which I love. I'm definitely not on the heavy, you know, scents kind of girl. And it's still lingering. You know, I sprayed a few hours ago. It's probably been four hours maybe. And it's not as blatant as it was, you know, which is usually the case, but it's still lingering on my um, wrist right now. I only sprayed one today though, just on this wrist. And that's because I already had perfume I was playing around with from other uh, unboxings on this hand. Um, I actually had another perfume on this hand earlier, but it has already worn off. And so that's why I went ahead and sprayed it. So anyway, it's, it's definitely still there and holding up so far. How would I rank it or how would I rate it? I think it's pretty good. Is it up there higher than some of my absolute favorites? No, but it's certainly one I would wear. Certainly one I like. Very peachy is the best way I know how to describe it. Um, so I would definitely, you know, I would wear this at the beach at like a spring, not even the beach as much as a nice fresh spring day summer day just to feel like fresh and pretty and feminine but not really ultra over the top of anything else you know what I mean that's kind of where I would wear it I am mostly picking up on that peach blossom I'm not picking up much on a pineapple not even picking up that much on peony I'm really picking up that maybe a little of the yuzu and the peach. I think that's what I'm mostly picking up on. So I think, I think that's really the best way to can describe it is it smells like a peach shampoo or shower gel to me. <laughs> that's my best take on it. So anyway, that's it for the month, guys. I wanted to kind of give you my review for this perfume. Um, I'm excited. I wanted to try it. I've never done a Burberry. And yeah, so I don't know much. Like I said, I'm a beginner here, but that's my take on it. And I also wanted to just kind of give you a recap on the Scentbird subscription. Um, so I hope that gives you some better information. I've definitely been uh, frolicking a lot in fragrance lately. So if you love fragrance, you'll want to stick around the channel because I've been getting it a lot in the beauty boxes that I cover as well as just on my own. Um, I don't know if this is going to air before or after. I just got all of the Charlotte Tilbury brand new fragrances coming. So I will definitely be bringing you guys a review on that if you're interested. So stay tuned for that. Um, and I cover a lot of other beauty here as well. I love to do a lot of the shopping for you so that you don't have to in the reviews and whatnot. So 
if all of that is your jam, you'll want to stick around and pop that subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye!